What's up y'all, it's Phil, and it's time for another update. So I have been just rocking and rolling on some of these projects lately, and it's getting a little crazy. I have come up to this project now, uh, which is one that I kind of wanted to have a little bit more time to work on, um, but I got a little behind and now my client really wants to get it done before she heads out of town and I've got other things I'm finishing up in the meantime, so lots of craziness, but this should be pretty cool. This project started back in like November, December of last year and I put her on the calendar for like March of this year and it's like May now because of all the COVID stuff. So. Things are kind of nuts, but we are getting there, and it's going to be kind of neat. It's a bunch of like lower cabinets, um, some nice uppers. I think we had some glass doors and glass shelving scheduled to be on there. Um, now she's got a new interior designer and actually called me last week and wants to change the design just a bit. So I'm not scared of that. It's basically going to be the same thing. It's going to be a little bit smaller, a little bit taller. We're changing up some of the doors, adding some floating shelves and all that jazz. So I think it's going to be really cool, and I'm ready to go ahead and get started on it. So. Let's go.
sucks. So on my way home from picking up supplies this morning, I hit a dip in the interstate which caused everything in my trailer to essentially become airborne. Um, so all the trim and whatever I just have to clean up, not a big deal, but my saw stop was in the trailer and my motor mount snapped in half. This is the second time that that has happened. I've recently learned that apparently you're supposed to be taking the motor off for transport. I didn't realize that because with it being a job site saw, I assumed that you just rolled it in and rolled it out and everything was good. So I may start doing that in the future. In the meantime, I've had the parts overnighted to me yet again, but I gotta figure out how to get this thing fixed because it's gotta run today. Also, when the motor fell, it severed the wires. Um, so I'm now going to first have to do some surgery and get the wiring hooked all back up. Uh, and then after that's done, I've got to figure out how to somehow make a motor mount that's going to work for this thing. So I'm going to get on that and then after that, I'm going to make some doors and drawers if I can get this thing running. Well, it's way less than ideal, but it'll work. Time to get back to it.
is full The night is cold And the air is still And I believe You are saving me Cause I drive fast And I drive fast Full transparency, these doors are kicking my butt I wanted to start and hopefully finish them Wednesday, go back to the client's house Thursday and then be back here doing some like touch up and final paint and stuff uh, today. That hasn't happened. Between the broken motor mount and my client having to reschedule, um, I gained some time but I lost a ton of time. Uh, I had to build a router table, which I'm actually kind of proud of because I just made it out of MDF, but uh, that has helped to make nicer doors, but again, every time I do something nicer and better and improve my skill, it always takes me longer. So. Maybe that was a bad choice, I don't know. I really like the way the doors turned out, so if they all stay flat, that'd be great. The recent humidity is causing the boards to kind of twist and move a little bit, and so I'm hoping that everything's gonna stay nice and perfectly flat um, when I go to install these, so we shall see. I also spilled paint all over my assembly table and all over my gun and all over me, so my one fresh new pair of Charlie Pants uh, pants that had not been covered in paint and stain yet are now covered in paint, so I am out of nice, clean, fresh pants that look new and they all look super dirty and used, which I love, but, you know, I kind of like to look nice when I go to see clients. Speaking of clients, I had two consultations, actually I had a consultation every single day this week, so the past couple days, instead of being able to just get out here and get to work, I had to go do that, I had to run some errands, go to the post office, this and that, so I'm just, I'm out of time, and it's frustrating. So I'm going to spend today just trying to get back on track and getting ready for my next project that I'm starting on Monday. Um, as far as this project goes though, I've got to finish up these doors, which is going to mean a lot more sanding, two more coats of primer on both the front and back side, and then getting at least one coat of the final paint on there, which I just now realized I don't actually know what that is or if I even have it in the shop. So I may be going out to get that later. It never stops.
And just like that, y'all, I am done, which is awesome. Um, I'm very happy to be done with this one because I've got another one that I just finished that I'm having to go back and do a lot of like touch up on and I've got another one I'm supposed to be finishing mm, today. So yeah, there's a lot going on in my shop right now, um, but that's a good thing. One of the best parts about this project uh, was for me the hidden LED lighting inside of it. Um, I planned ahead and I actually set the wiring inside of the cabinet itself. I, I, I cut out a channel and I planned where I was going to run everything. I pre-drilled holes in multiple directions, fish wires through. So instead of having a wire running up from the plug up the back and behind the faceboard and all that stuff, it's actually built in. So the wire does still go up through the cabinet to the remote uh, driver, but then from there it goes into a hole in the wood and you don't see it again until you see the LED strip lights underneath the wine rack and the floating shelf. So that was an awesome feature and something I've been wanting to do and this project happened to have the timeline and the budget where I could take the extra time to teach myself how to do something cool like that and it's only going to improve my future projects that include LED under cabinet lighting. So with all that being said, it's summer, it's hot in here because the air conditioner is off because then you wouldn't be able to hear me. So I need to get going to my other client's house. I've got the doors packed up right here and ready to go and I need to get going and doing all of that stuff. So. You guys can check out these beauty shots right here. Thanks for watching guys. You can find me on social media. I am on Instagram. I am on Facebook. If you really want to check out Twitter, but I get kind of mad on there right now. Uh, let's see. Check out my Amazon store. I set that up just for you guys. I've had a lot of people asking questions about what tools I use and whatnot. So I put all that stuff there. I propagated some lists and I'm trying to actually link products to the actual projects that I do. So keep checking in there. If you see a project on here that you really like, click the link below. It'll have that project as something that you can click on and see what products I actually used in that project, which is really cool. And Amazon affiliate links really support this channel as well as the Google AdSense ads and stuff like that. So if you'd like to support me, check out some of the ads, definitely go on Amazon and buy some stuff using my links. Even if you just click over there using one of my links, I still get a couple pennies no matter what you buy. So that'd be awesome if you want to support the channel. But like I said a minute ago, I got to get out of here. So I will see you guys later. Also, if you're about to comment on my micro bun, don't. I don't like it either, and I just can't get in to get a haircut yet, and Amazon has not delivered my hair gel still, so don't worry about it, it's not going to stick around. But thanks for watching anyway. Mm -hmm.